gonna miss you! Well, they're moving pretty quick. Woo. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. We don't gotta kill everybody. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be hey, honest, chill out. actually. We don't gotta kill them. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Let me guess, you forgot about my trick hole. Well, it's ready if you need it.
shitty encounter anyway. I'm glad we're leaving. Help! Help! I, I, I'm dying. You had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse. <laughs> Understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? So you finally need me again. Huh? All right. So this is Dr. Giblets' base. Then where is he at? Where's Dr. Giblets? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine. If we have to. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. Haha, <laughs> let's go! All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that... Howdy there, cowboys! Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives! Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning! There's gotta be an off switch for this guy somewhere, or unplug him. Here, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. These must be old hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby! Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dublitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Is that the Gatling we're looking for? They look a little busted to me. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatling to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatling for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. 
Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you didn't need us to find clues. That's okay, it was still really fun. Yep, sorry, I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. You walk, I'll talk, and shoot. Dr. Giblets, uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. What the fuck are you waiting for? The guy died, so let me carve him up already. Dr. Giblets status report: No life signs detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh oh. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy. Look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. Slept with your wife, and it's the best thing to divorce you and marry me. And then I made you an expression to me, and you did that process, and you swore revenge against me. 
Excuse me for the rest of the day? Could it be that? I feel like it's probably not, but I just want to make sure. I know you can't tell me because I'm dead, but soon you can tell me. Be it. 
Guys, can that be all she wrote? People always say that's all she wrote. Can this be all she wrote? Okay, this is my final message. If you're still alive to hear this, then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. There we go. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. We all got our own demons to deal with. Jeez. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. <laughs> we made it. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Let's get out of here while the getting's good. We can get back out through the trap door. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. I saw great potential in both the first Oh, and the what Gatsby. year is it? No. I'm just fucking with you. See how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again, okay? I'm serious. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over, let's bow wow! Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit, that's great! I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. He would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me... All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can... Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the fort. All right, Bounty Hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister.
Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, Bounty Hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to be good. It's going to, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? You're making it awkward. You know, it makes me so happy every time you walk by me. I just have to tell you. Don't fucking look at me. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just, just kidding around. Just, like I'm just joking here. around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Oh boy, okay, so that, um, that Don Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's see if we can fix him up and, he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, the, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know and it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, 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 okay, no, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want, I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Twig is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, we, we will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? <sighs> okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please.
Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka, 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm going to get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. we gotta get to them. Hey, you didn't pay your bill! Oh, fuck. Okay, this, this, this changes shit. This is bad. That means in real life, too, not just in this game. I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. The you were doing such a good job with all these bounty hunting rights, but you really were. So, I just made some new commercials with you in the... To drum up Yo, what are you doing? Well, we gotta get to the house! They have your house's address, and now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So, get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me and the other guys. My bad. Fucking... as if it couldn't get any worse! Fighting everybody, we just need to get home. Get back to the house! That's right, let's go, we're gonna hurry! 
Oh, yeah, I've been here the whole time. But, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Hey, what's going on, man, buddy? Hey, just so you know, that feels like... Holy shit, they're fucking everywhere! Get to the house! Come on, we gotta get to the fucking house! Surprised to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> you fuck with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me kill you nice and easy. We know everything about you, and we still have two oh-so-special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> What? Did you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp! Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core! close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We've still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. 